these are the parts for our first computer build and we're going to build our own computer just because it kind of seems like something you can do this is my build partner uh, so the parts we have there's a motherboard a regular old hard drive which is back here a solid state drive and we're going to put our operating system and programs on that a blu-ray drive uh, because that seemed fancy processor power supply motherboard 8 gig of RAM and then that down there is the case that it's all going to go in I don't know what I'm doing and uh, picked these uh, for no particular reason other than this is uh, they said they went together on PC parts picker uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the power supply out of the box and plug that in so that we have something to uh, discharge static electricity off of to ground and then uh, we'll probably uh, work on the rest of this tomorrow or something Did you know that the motherboard is my favorite part because it has mother in it? Mm -hmm. So I think maybe there's a mommy that that made it. Recording. We are in the danger zone. We are about to be taken out our motherboard. It's still in the electrostatic packaging packaging we have our CPU and the cooler fan and we're going to try to install the CPU on the motherboard so if I'm gonna screw up this is my first really big opportunity to screw up um, and then we'll start with my special uh, computer work knife which is from the kitchen knives and cut that and then pull this thing out and see what we've got to deal with. Probably none of this cut stuff is should touch, right? I don't know how you deal with any of it. Okay. So there we've got this on our box. Uh, these are the places where the RAM goes. There's some hookups. Some, I think that's for like a sound card and then this is where the CPU itself goes so we pull on this lever and let that release and get close here buddy it looks like there's an arrow there no don't, don't touch stuff <laughs> the camera stay right there okay mm -hmm. it looks like there's an arrow right here you got it mm -hmm. right there to show us which way our CPU goes and right here on the top part of the CPU right here there's a little bitty arrow so that's what we're gonna try to that's what we're gonna line up so I'll try to pop this out and this is presumably pretty fragile so we'll line these up arrow there to arrow here and straight down and that looks like it actually worked so this part's supposed to be pretty scary because when you pop this down there's a bunch of crunching sounds so let's listen for some crunching sounds <gasps> well that's that was supposed to happen i think if not it happened anyway. Uh, yes, that pop plates up, that plate pops off and uh, freaks you out if it's your first time. But uh, I think that's what was supposed to happen. Uh, and so now this is our fan. And um, I have read that on these, uh, if you use the stock fan, there's already thermal paste on it, which I hope that's what that is. Uh, so the instructions on this would probably suggest a way, but I can't really tell what the instructions are saying. So I'm just going to try to put this where it seems like the power is. And the CPU fan is back over that way. Um, so it seems like this is probably the best way to put this thing in. And 
uh, get those little tabs lined up in whatever way, and then uh, I think we'll be done with this step. So let's uh, turn off the camera for now, buddy boy, okay. and then get the next step done. Recording. Just popping, punching these little things down to lock the fan on, and. Then we've got this cord here. I'm probably doing some kind of cord management sin, uh, but there's a place here marked CPU fan that I'm intuiting is where the CPU fan plugs in. And so we've plugged that in. And it has a good connection. And uh, I think that's uh, probably as good as I'm going to get it. So for better or worse, our CPU and fan are mounted. And then you can cut Good. it. Okay. Um. <laughs> we, we think we've got the CPU on. We think we've got the fan on. So now we're going to try to install some RAM. And I'm going to use these uh, black slots that are numbered one, two, three, four. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put it in four first, and then we'll we'll check and confirm that that was the best place to put it. But I mean, I'm going to put it next to uh, in the closest place to the CPU because then you know memory has the information has the least distance to travel, right? What he said. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to this video. Yeah. Okay. Let's pop that out. Pull this out like that. See if there's some static to discharge. Oh, maybe I should do this one first. What do you think? It says DDR1. So if it says one, that's a good place to start, right? Yeah, I guess so. So this will be off alignment, and it looks like this notch here lines up with that notch there. So we'll slide this in, and at some point, we'll get it far enough in, and it will click into place. Not quite there yet. He wants his computer to have a really good memory <laughs> and be really good at his research. I'm going to flip this box over. Side might be a little, a little sturdier. Kind of popped in on that point. There we go. All right, there's our memory. So we had to kind of fight that a little bit, but. Yeah. Seems to be locked in place now. Yeah. Turn off. Hey. Um, so here is the actual desktop part. He has gotten it out. He loves computers, but he hates Microsoft. I love Microsoft, and I love computers, too. And he uses Google a lot. <laughs> so, um, right now we are getting ready to prepare for dangerous. <laughs> and so, um, we are right just now getting the screws yeah, so out. We have, we have this big mess of screws here, right? <laughs> you can say that again. And we've got to <clears throat> put in our standoffs where the motherboard is going to sit. So we're going to test this first. Oh, Mom! Drop all these right here so that we uh, lose a couple of them. And then we're going to grab our motherboard Mother and boy. just put it right in here to see how things are going to fit. Supporting it by the fan, that seems kind of a logical way to do it. 
And that's good, that's good. Uh, so we're going to need, my, here, my, yeah, can you hold it in here? We need a screw here, a screw, or a standoff here, there, there, and then one back there. So we'll try to remember that, okay? Mm -hmm. right there, 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 there. Looks like all the places exactly that there are spots for standoffs. So that's pretty convenient. So I'll take these, I'll put them in. And these are kind of like, like there's a screw on one end, and then there's an, uh, a threaded side for you to put the screw in through the motherboard. And we'll put these in by hand and then use this little tool that they provide with it to uh, tighten them down. Okay. You, can, you can probably stop that right there. Okay. And put all these in and then come back. Goodbye. We'll be right back. There's that really fun spot again. Bye. Well, now. we've upgraded now to a magnetic screwdriver, and it's making it quite a bit easier. And now that one's in. So, yeah, totally would have been easier just to put it in number four, but. It's, it's number one, so it's got to start there, right? Uh, so we'll go here next. Next? Do you want me to pause it? No, that's okay. Recording. Yeah, we're just going kind of finger tight here. And since I know from fact that this works if you pick it up and shake it to get a little screw out of it, uh, we know that we're just fine. There you go. Hey, you know, we'll come. This is a little one, so in fact, I'm going to make it like this. It'll be easier to see. Okay. Our motherboard, we believe, is now installed. Okay. That's possible. We're going to install our Blu-ray drive next, so we've set the desktop up, and there's a hand grab right here. We're going to use that to pry this up. And then this right here is where we'll install the Blu-ray. There's some little uh, mesh pieces that are wedged in around that. We'll move those out of the way, and then hopefully this will just pop out for us. A little more pop than I expected. But yeah. I guess that gets the job done. And then those come out. And that should give us a place to put our DVD drive. And I think now we can go back with it. We'll put this back on right there. up and this is our blu-ray drive so we will try to slide that in through Is the that here. cool yeah possibly he really likes discs <laughs> don't you daddy i do and i just set the, the uh tower back upright okay to So we might have ran into a little problem, the rub, rubber grommets, I think you said. Mm -hmm. One is missing on a piece, and um, we, our shirt is going to work. Okay, sorry, my voice is just kind of tired, and um, it will be, I was resting to do more of this, but this Rubber ground mix, see it right here. Rubber ground mix. Ground mix. One is missing. So we might have ran into a little problem. Okay. 
So we might have ran into a little problem. The rub, rubber grommets, I think you said. Mm -hmm. One is missing on a piece. And um, we are sure it is going to work. Okay, sorry, my voice is just kind of tired. And um, it will be... I always rest to do more of this. But this... Rubber ground mitt, see it right here. Rubber ground mitt. Ground mitt. One is missing. So we might have ran into a little problem. Okay. So we might have ran into a little problem. The rub, rubber ground mitts, I think you said. Mm -hmm. One is missing on a piece, and um, we are sure it is going to work. Okay, sorry, my voice is just kind of tired, and um, it will be, I always rest to do more of this, but this rubber ground mitt, see it right here, rubber ground mitt. Mm -hmm. Ground one is missing, so we might have ran into a little problem. Okay. Mm -hmm.